All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see, I think there was another request for the, uh, the British pound one, one hour chart. So let's go ahead and, and, and go there. The uh, cable one hour. Okay, and what was it, the one hour chart? Okay, so there's our cable one hour. Last major moves. Well, first thing we should do when we're considering last major moves for a time frame is what? Go into market memory. I'm not going to go into that today because we covered that pretty thoroughly uh, before, but suffice to say a one hour chart should have about two weeks of market memory on there, Okay, which we're well within right now. So I want to take a look at some last major moves. Okay. I'll tell you, there's a lot of little retracements all over this chart, which, which will make it a bit of a challenge. Okay? The current last major move is going to be tough here. In fact, if I was looking at this chart, trying to determine right now my last major move, I would have initially looked for this move right here. It's pretty dramatic, but it's less than, it's just barely three, three candles. But it's no longer, would, would it be long, any longer valid? Does it break one of our rules? So this is a sell-off, okay? I'm going to go ahead and label it. Sell-off from A to B down here. Okay? And if I went ahead and draw, drew my last major move from A to B, Does it break any of my rules? Did I make a lower low than B? No. No, I didn't. Okay. It just barely met my criteria of three candles. There's my minimum, and you can see the high was one, big sell-off two, second big sell-off three. So it just met my criteria. We made a full retracement, but we never made a lower low than B, which maintains the validity of this as a last major move. Okay, I'll show you another last major move. This chart's a little bit trickier, okay? This one's a little bit trickier, but this is one move, last major move right here, A to B. Okay? Take a look at the way price, actually the Fibonacci retracement respect for price levels is actually really good here. When prices started to climb up, we really didn't respect price levels too much until we started to exhaust here and rest on the 50%. So notice the first sign of some decent... Fibonacci respect was a little bit of a pause at 50 and then support here. It sold off, hit my 223.6, rallied again, hit the, hit the 50% as resistance, sandwiched between the 382 and 50 for a while, and even though I made some lower lows here, look at how most of this price action was sandwiched between the 50% and the 382, giving me some decision levels, giving me some decent support and resistance. We rallied up, not a lot of respect, a little bit of a pause at the 618, didn't quite reach a 786, so nothing too great. But then when we sold back off, bam, right back to that 50, an excellent support. Rallied up. Again, it kind of ignored the 618, but look, then it acted as support. Ignored the 786 almost completely and nailed the 886. So, so far, this is pretty good. Of all the places that prices could stop, could stall, or congest, notice how often it does so within the Fibonacci levels. Okay? So you can see how many times we were respecting levels. And don't just assume that prices will just stop there. Look at the body of the candle. Sometimes prices will wick through, but look at where it snaps up to close. It's these little nuances that tell you that prices are reacting to the support and resistance of these levels. Right now, we're kind of stalling up at the 786, kind of just shy of it. Let me show you another last major move. I think this A to B is pretty darn good. Let me show you another last major move that could be interesting. And this one's actually going to be a rally. Okay? I'm going to take this move right here. We're going to call it from C to D. From C to D. This is the last major move that was a rally. Okay? And I know we've made a lower low than C, but that's fine because that actually gets into our extensions, right? This, this, is a, this is valid as long as there is not a higher high than D. 
A lower low than C is fine, but in a case of a rally, we can't exceed the high. So C to D. Take a look at this major move. Again, we, we, we got into some ex extension levels. We got almost all the way down to 1.618. Okay? And while A to B was really good, C to, C to D is pretty darn good. Sold off, support at 382, sliced through the 50, stopped a little bit at 618, but bam, stopped at 786. Sandwiched a little bit between 50 and 618, not great. Sold off again, take a look, bam, hit the 100%, full retracement. Okay, on the way back up, we had a little bit of respect at the 886. We had a lot of respect here after breaking 100%. We had a lot of respect at the 1.272. Bounce up to the 886. This is kind of like rungs on a ladder, isn't it? Okay, just don't look at this as merely support or resistance. Depending upon which way prices are coming up or down at it, it could be either. And again, prices could sandwich in between them as well. Coming back down, not so much. Kind of ignored the 1.272. I can't call this good respect with the 618. I won't get carried away. Good, res good resistance at the 100%. And then most recently, we're basically at the golden mean, 618, with an attempt at the uh, 50%. So that C to D is a pretty good last major move as well. Okay, so what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to identify the last major moves. Now, by the way, could I do D to whatever this point would be? Could I call that D to E? Would it be valid, by the way? Could I do D to E? Does that break any rules? If I did D to E, let's take a look at that for a moment. Oops, got rid of my C there by accident. I'm going to lose that. Does D to E break any of our rules? It sure does. We had a lower low than E. That is not a valid last major move. Not anymore. Once we broke this into this low, no good. Right? Once we exceeded the, the, the low of the the move lower is no longer valid. Are there other last major moves? There probably are some minor ones, and certainly you're free to draw them and see how price is reacting to the lines and levels that are created by that drawing, but I think A to B and C to D are pretty darn good. And I would tell you to probably keep an eye on those until you notice that either one, price are no longer respecting those levels of support and resistance, or we break the validity of the last major move by making a higher high. You know, again, depending upon the last major move being a sell-off or a rally, if one of those higher highs or lower lows comes in and invalidates them, you've got to keep that in mind. So again, if it's a sell-off, you cannot make a lower low. Then that sell-off is no longer valid as the last major move. In a rally, you cannot make a higher high. Otherwise, that last major move is no longer valid. Okay? Pay attention to the wicks. Pay attention to the bodies as well. Because where that candle snaps back up to close is certainly a reflection of a certain degree of psychology in that, on that pair. Okay, so the, the cable here, this one-hour cable, was a little trickier. It's a little bit trickier here. 